And Jay is asking, does that better to surrender him? Probably you're asking, is, asking, is it better to surrender? See, on the other paths, it is best to surrender to Guru. On the path of knowledge, you surrender everything except your intellect. You will never find this instruction anywhere else. This is very peculiar to our group, our system here. Never surrender the intellect. And why is that? Because these days, 90% gurus are fake. You need to use your intellect to find out who is fake, who is not. So surrender everything except your intelligence. And is it going to be harmful for me? No. The Guru wants you to be intelligent. Actually, the Guru wants you to have critical thinking abilities and uh, discretion, discrimination. And if you surrender your intelligence also, the Guru is going to beat you like hell. The Guru is going to put you under many tests to check whether you have you are using your intelligence or simply obeying like a donkey. And if you keep obeying, feet licking behavior, now be ready for the punishments. Guru will check at every step whether you are understanding it. You are, is it becoming your knowledge or you are simply parroting the Guru? That must be checked. So never surrender the intellect. The guru On the path of knowledge, the Guru will never like it. You can surrender your body, you can surrender your money or whatever you have, your know, property and all. And the Guru will never take it. <laughs> He wants you to give it up, but nobody will take it. Only the attachment is the problem, isn't it? Not your money, not your body. Your attachment is the problem. It is a, it is a very deep subject, so you, Ajay brought it up. But you see, it is possible to write at least three books on surrender only. What happens here? How, how different kind of people surrender different, differently? For example, men and women, they surrender differently. It's a very deep topic. To what extent people surrender to the Guru? As long as he is talking about the favorite deity, as long as the Guru is talking from his favorite book, you see the scripture, yes, I surrender to the Guru. As soon as he says something which is true, now nah, this Guru is not good enough. He is a fake Guru. Uh, may, you know, some people just simply pretend to surrender. They never surrender. So the Guru checks it. You know. Just today I heard a story from somebody. You know, One Guru told his student who said, Guruji, I love you so much. I'll do everything for you. <laughs> he gave him a cup of dark liquid. He said, okay, okay. Drink this poison. It's fine. And, and the student was actually surprisingly really surrendered. He drank it and everybody was kind of shocked. Now what? My number is also coming now. I'm in the queue. <laughs> what happened was nothing happened to that fellow who drank the poison because it's, it was not poison, it was Coca Cola. <laughs> that is poison only, isn't it? <laughs> but no immediate effect. So, test, test only. Sometimes I ask you to surrender, but I don't really want you to surrender. Be independent, guys. Be independent. But I want to check whether. You will become independent or not, whether you will be able to fly or not. So I need to test the wings and you are given something to do. I, I'm giving you, you know, I'm giving people such a simple things, you know, correct your language, correct your spelling, put the full stop after the sentence. And they don't do even that. So this is the level of surrender we need to face. And in, <laughs> in such a situation, I'm already seeing miracles. Even without surrender, the miracles are happening. Because this path of knowledge you see, does not demand total surrender. You need to simply follow the minimal instructions and it is good. Now check the other paths, you see. Check the other paths. There, there are trials and tests. And all. We only have one test and people are afraid of it. Many people don't uh, get in, in the program because you know, there is a test there. <laughs> Some people get into the program and after writing, they come to know there is a test. Because you see, who reads the instruction? Who reads the manual these days? You see, simply jump. So then they leave it. Those who appear in test, it is a real thing then. Then they become the real disciples. It is so simple, isn't it? I made it so simple. Because I know the life is going to test you. Anyhow. So those who surrender, they progress very, very fast. Those who don't, they will progress also. But they will need to listen to a lot of... You know, they will need to drink the poison. The poison of the bitter words. 
Vipin is saying, desperate measures are suggested on POG for a seeker to live alone to avoid influences. Can you share the dynamics of how influence propagates like small activity, like accepting gift from someone or just visiting someone? It's a very big topic again, you see. What can I tell you is that as soon as you take something from somebody, you are bound to that person in that event. This much you should remember. The other dynamics are very complicated. They are very complicated. If you remember this much, that as soon as you take something from somebody, you will need to return it. That return means either your life will be diverted in a different direction or you will need to take another birth. You will be born again just to fulfill that um, duty of yours, which you have unknowingly, knowingly taken from somebody else. So it can be a gift, yes. It can be food. It can be water. It can be simply visiting somebody or touching somebody. And that is the influence you will already see that we are in a big net of influences. We have taken, for most of our lives, we have taken from everybody. So miserably trapped here. Just like I was saying a few minutes ago that 99.99% people, they only know taking, they do not know giving and they are forever trapped actually. They will go up and down with the illusion. They will never come out of it. It's not wrong. It's, it's not a bad thing. This is how the nature works. Some will avoid this trap of taking and they will rise above the others. Start giving whatever you have. First you earn it and start giving it away. Best thing to give is knowledge obviously. And then even if you accept something, <laughs> it's, it's, it's minuscule, hardly matters. So for example, I don't take anything. I don't drink water in other places, in somebody's house. I don't visit anybody. I, I'll do it only if I can give that person 10 times more than they are giving me. So the balance is always in my favor. Especially avoid taking money because money is a shortcut of enslaving your causal body. Yes, somebody serving you, that is their love, isn't it? They are giving you their love. Money means, okay, take my money and be my slave. That is not love. Throwing money at somebody, I don't find that loving. So I never take money. What about gifts? Yes, you know, it is just that thing that you bought from the market for 500 rupees costs 50 rupees actually. <laughs> His packaging makes it 500, isn't it? Branding. Okay, I'll take it. Anyhow, it is produced. Produced means it's already rotten. Snatched from the mother nature. Okay, give it to me. I'll at least give it back to mother nature. If it is not plastic, you see, recycled immediately. <laughs> Usually, whatever I get, get from people, I always distribute them to somebody else. It's not mine. So that is the biggest thing that you need to be concerned about, about influences from others. Do not take from others. There are three kinds of taking. The first is physical, like money, gifts and the body, no, body of a female and uh, service. Somebody does something for you. And the second taking is through the voice, through your speech. Somebody praises you, don't take it. Somebody blames you, accuses you, abuses you, don't take it. Somebody says you are great, okay, leave it there, don't take it. Somebody says you are beautiful, no, no, they don't really mean it, they want something from you. And so on, don't take the speech. Then the third is through the thoughts. And you will come to know this only when you advance spiritually. That people are sending you all kinds of thoughts. Don't take them. So avoid three kinds of taking and you will be freed from this infinite net of influences, dependencies and so on. What do you see in the world? Only taking <laughs> is give and take only. That's why they will never come out of there. So this is not path of knowledge. On the path of knowledge, you do whatever you want to do. We accept everything. But on the tantric path, don't even touch anybody. Sweetie says, can getting knowledge from someone also bind us? Yes. If the knowledge is of worldly kind, it will bind you. If it is of the spiritual kind and given by the Guru, then it will free you. Very easy. Do you, do you feel bound when you receive the self-realization or anything or any other basic knowledge. Oh, you feel free. The Guru has 
absolutely nothing to give he, he only pretends that he, he is giving <laughs> you are whole and complete already did you get anything extra no the guru actually took the guru snatched all the ignorance from you i mean the guru is not taking it to keep it you know he takes it to destroy it so a different kind of taking bearing is called bearing so now you know who you are you are not covered by all this rotten garments of all kinds so no actually this uh, topic goes so deep that uh, it will take many hours for me to explain because sometimes the guru will fo- form the bonds with the student because he knows that if there is no bond between me and the student the student is not going to actually love me not going to respect me will never progress so the <laughs> guru traps the student in a relationship and which lasts for many many lifetimes so till the student grows enough the guru is with the student all the time so the, the guru and student relation is the only one that is purest and will last forever actually whatever forever means you know we are already one forever so there are that is the ultimate relation of oneness but there are fake relations now and the least fake is the guru and the student that is selfless so i know guru is a very very difficult creature to understand i could not understand even one guru of mine properly and it causes a lot of fear in the minds of students that <laughs> guru is ungraspable so what the guru does is you know assumes a smaller form where now he become pretends to be a ordinary human now it is graspable graspable now i learned this from ishwar puri who is my guru that's why i say guru lies all the time all lies only if he present presents his real form to you you will run away so what what does the guru do becomes a little innocent <laughs> idiotic person now people accept him yes he is just like me so whatever is needed we do it isn't it but uh, the guru will free you nobody else everybody will bind you only the guru will free you and that is why so much importance the guru is placed above the gods why the gods also bind you <laughs> ask them anything any favor and you will be uh, you will enter in a very very long term relationship with that god with the deity of yours that is so long you can say infinite gone so even the guru won't touch this thing if it fails then you are freed then the guru will pick you up do we touch these people who are who are in the devotional paths and all this you know worshiping deities and all i never touch them <laughs> i tell them look the path of knowledge is the worst kind you will not get anything is intellectual garbage love your god love your deity surrender to that and we leave them something or somehow they will come out of it after 1 billion years and then i'll be in a position to help them so lela is asking are we not already bound to our parents how do we get out of this bondage yes you are bound to your parents since probably thousands of births not only you are bound to parents you are bound to your children you are bound to your um, siblings and neighbors and your community your religion your race everything it's all a bondage many layered multi layered bondage how do we get out of this bondage realize that you are the one who is free realize that this creature is bound this illusory individual is bound you are free you are freedom yourself very easy mary is saying how to return to clean the touching return or clean the touching bond is it possible without without rebirth yes it is possible forgiving oh, i made a mistake by taking something from you or expecting something from you mistake now mentally forgive mentally break the bonds because the bondage is of mind only not of the body you don't need to do anything physical to break the bond and if your mind is not convinced like this you can ritualize you can make a small ritual and use that ritual to break the bond it can be cutting of a string burning of a rope and so on sometimes i prescribe this kind of rituals and uh, they work <laughs> it's because it's mind only it's illusion the illusion works in the illusion so there are occult ways to break all the bonds although it is not recommended but in extreme cases 
when the bondage becomes painful we do it yes like he was asking na will the guru do something which is beyond my perception yes <laughs> you don't even know what the guru is doing behind your back although you need to ask for it if it is not your wish the guru will never do it even if you are suffering the guru will not do it the guru will produce a hint do you want this do you really want this again third time i am asking yes yes okay then take it now who knows what happens after that but the cleaning happens clean up happens how do we do it when you advance spiritually how do you do it through detachment you form a bond with complete detachment and it is as good as no bond no bondage or you dip yourself in the bondage and then you ask your guru to pull you out or you set up a intention alarm clock to pull you out of it. i have done these kind of experiments they are kind of energy draining you come out of this bounded relation with a significant loss of energy life force your body will age a little bit more your health will go down your mental health will suffer your intelligence will be little less and that is the price we pay of for diving into a bound relation with somebody so it better produce some good results like it should produce a result where the other person has progressed spiritually at the cost of your time and energy otherwise even the guru field won't support this kind of adventure probably i told you too much